very, very rarely do this, but today I have downed tools because I've just had a deliverer. And you can see straight away what it is. Boss Katana Head Mark II amplifier guitar amp. I get through a lot of amps, I buy them, keep them for a while, move them on, buy something else. But in this instance, I've gone and bought something new. And the only things I've bought new in recent years, I believe, are I bought a Helix Line 6 floor, or Line 6 Helix floor, brand new. And uh, I've got this Boss Katana Mark II head, brand new. It was, uh, I was going to wait for um, Black Friday to get one at a good price because they're retailing about 360 British pounds at the moment. And I got this and it was on a site called Qatari and we're based in the Czech Republic. And this was up to 315 pounds. So I thought, I'm not going to get a better price than that, um, even on Black Friday. So I went and bought it. I also threw in or ordered with it cover and this is going to replace the only amp I have at the moment is my Katana mini head which I bought a while ago totally blown away with it I put a through jack on there so I can plug a cab into it and as I plug a cab in it disables the internal speaker so that's great but uh, one of my clients is buying that is giving me a good price for it uh, when I decided I was going to go and get this I'd have had no problem selling it anyway but I'm doing this it's an unboxing not to check for any damage or anything, just because it's exciting. And um, yeah, it's really, really good. I know the cable in here will have a European plug on it. They have sent me an adapter that came with the uh, with the cover. I'll not be using that. I won't be using this cable because I do have cables with British plugs on. Uh, I have many of them. And you see that's got the European plug on there. I'm not even going to need that. Chances are I'll just throw it away. Uh, maybe I'll keep the cable, I don't know. But I've got British ones anyway. So here we go. Fantastic stuff. And I'm going to do it the slightly easier way. Turn the box upside down and lift the box off. How long do you keep a box when you buy something new, by the way? It's a, it's a legitimate question. Because we do, I do tend to keep boxes for a short time. And then you think, well, it's not going to break now, let's get rid of it. And then if you have a warranty issue with it, that's when you're going to get it. I imagine I'll keep the box for a short time. Just cram those back in the box for now. So this thing. I expect it to be really, really light. It's nowhere near as light as I thought it was going to be. It has got some weight to it, and that's pleasing. Only a few kilograms, but that is really pleasing because it's not lightweight and wispy like I thought it was going to be. And wow, what a beautiful, beautiful looking piece of kit. And I'm looking at the back. I didn't even know that, but look at this. What a beautiful piece of kit that is. Wow, I am... Uh, I'm almost lost for words. Uh, so blessed. Praise the Lord for this. Fantastic piece of kit. Uh, so blessed that I can just go out, see this and think, I'll buy that today and I can buy it. I've never been in a position in my life, my wife and I, we've never been in a position where we can see something and just go out and buy it. Uh, we're just blessed enough at the moment to be able to do that. We've both got good jobs, we both work hard. I work, well I work obviously, I work two jobs, I've got uh, Raw Mail and I've got this job as well and I earn, I have the potential to earn more money doing this, uh, guitar repairs, than I, well not potential, I actually do, I earn more doing guitars than I do at Raw Mail and I'm on a good wage at Raw Mail, uh, but that's why I took the job, but anyway, wow, what a great piece of kit this is, beautiful, beautiful looking out, a little bit of a bump on the top there, um, I'll just show you the back, look at that, there's going to be no demo or no plugging in of this. It is just an unboxing. And uh, there's all the gubbins here. What a fantastic looking thing. I have the USB cable I need. I will have a new power supply. Send and return. Stereo expand off or on. Line out, power amp in. Foot switch. I've just gone and bought the foot switch by the way. Uh, that was on Amazon at £71. My wife has Prime so I've ordered it on her account. Be here tomorrow. So I've got the G8, Roland GAFC foot switch to go with that as well. Um, and it's cost me both with the cover. I think it's cost me. It's cost me 400 quid. So you've got this for foot switch and the cover. 
There's the book. There's the uh, stickers. Who stickers for the JFC? Why are they in there? I don't have a JFC. I have to buy that separate. Anyway, whatever. Um, let's just check the cover out while I'm here. So, really exciting day for me. I'm not even going to go and get this plugged in today. Well, I might do later, I don't know. I've got a lot of guitar work on at the moment. There's two guitars I want to get done with today. I want to finish a refret on the Gibson Les Paul Custom, the 1973 one. That's half refret, and I'm going to finish that refret today. I've got a brilliant Les Paul studio behind me. Um, I have an electric upgrade, that's at a fret level, blah blah blah. But anyway, back to this, let's not talk guitars. Let's talk Boss Katanas. Boss Katana with cover. So what I'm gonna pay me, why did I buy a head? I'll tell you why I bought a head. Because I already have a cab, and my cab has two vintage 30s in it. It's a, it's a Harley Benton vintage 30 of the vintage cab, 2 by 12 I got it for a really good price. I am gonna be looking for the 1 by 12 version. And there you go, nice little cover there, look. Not that it'll get covered much, but it'll keep dust off it, won't it? So there you go, great piece of kit. Yeah, I'll be pairing this up with my, uh, my vintage cab. Uh, two V, two Celestial V30s in there. I would like to go and get the 1 by 10, 1 by 12 though. Uh, so I'm gonna sell my 2 by 12, I'll probably get 120 pounds for it. I'll go and buy the single uh, speaker version for, uh, for 115 pounds, so but at least it'll be a new one. But anyway, there we go. Boss Katana Head Mark II unboxing. Really, really pleased. Do I look pleased? Do I look happy? You know, um, I am happy. But yeah, fantastic. Uh, really pleased with this. I'm not going to plug it in, like I say. I've got soldier iron just about to go back on. I'm going to do some electrics, do some guitar work, and all being well, I'll have a look and a play. Look at this proper later, and I'll have a play with it sometime tonight. But yeah, great piece of kit, cab resonance, modern deep or vintage. My goodness, what a great piece of kit this looks. Really, really looking forward to playing this. Uh, this is going to be my main amp. I know people, especially Valve, aficion not aficionados, snobs. Snobs is the word I'm looking for. Sounds nothing like a real Valve amp, blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you something. I've got mini one of these. I stick my Boss SD1 in front of it. Uh, use it as a clean boost, no drive on there. Sounds amazing, sounds as good as any amp, head and cab I've ever used in 35 years, more than 35 years of player. 37 years I've been playing now I think. And uh, you're deceiving yourself. You're deceiving yourself if you're saying that, that's, that they sound twice as good as these. No, these, these are just as good. My top, you'd never tell the difference. So there you go. But yeah, great piece of kit. Looking forward to playing with this later. But that is it. The unboxing is done. I am a very happy and excited Victor. Um, but I've got to crack on with some guitar work. So I'm going to whiz off before I go. Um, check out my website, facebook.com forward slash ng17. That's facebook.com forward slash n-g-o-n-e-s-e-v-e-n. I am Victor. I am your friend. And until the next video, God bless you all. Be good to each other and I will see you in the next one.